I think what's unique about Xiaomi is that we adapt very quickly. Uh, and we have, for the past four years since the company started, changed the way we, we build things, changed the way we communicate with users and so on. I think we can adapt into new markets just by the sheer nature of who we are. So you've announced a new low-cost smartphone for the Singapore market. But there are other companies who are present in the same space, not least from China. We've got Huawei, ZTE, Lenovo being there. Do you think there's enough space for all of you there? What we've done with Redmi was actually build a really high performance phone at a very affordable price. Uh, there's a lot of products in sort of the same price range, uh, of course, that we are in, but none that really pushes performance uh, you know, to its limits uh, while staying in this price range. Um, so we're pretty excited about sort of testing the market here and seeing how it will do. Uh, we're, we're very excited and we think that we have a really good chance of doing well. Now, Xiaomi has traditionally sold handsets directly to consumers via its website, but you are now about to enter Western markets where consumers are more used to buying handsets at subsidized rates as part of a package deal given by mobile phone carriers. How do you plan to counter that? Are you going to change your strategy? contract and subsidies is a bit of a new element in some of these markets uh, and we actually really enjoy that. Uh, from our perspective what's important for our users, for our customers, is to have choice. right? So to be able to acquire a device at full price and then bring their own SIM card is great. To be able to enjoy the subsidy in a contract um, uh, type relationship with a carrier but not have to pay up front almost any money, if any money at all, for the handset is another great option. Right? So we love the idea of having these two choices. Um, and you know, we will continue to adapt as we find sort of new practices in these new markets that we get into. Now you've rebranded your phone for the Singapore market and are calling it Redmi instead of Hongmi, the name that you use to sell it to Chinese consumers. How much of this is being influenced by concerns that traditional Chinese names may not prove to be popular among Western customers and may hurt your branding in the long run. We obviously want to have a, a sort of well understandable global brand. We're just trying things out. Redmi, uh, we think, is a great name. It's different. Uh, it's also very expressive because of red, you know, that means passion, and me stands for mobile internet. Um, but, you know, we're open. Uh, you know, if, if, uh, if people have better ideas, we're very keen on listening to them.